Oh, hello there, everybody. Uh, oh, I go. Uh, oh boy, this is gonna be a long video today. Welcome back to uh, Slay the Spire, the card game roguelike bonanza that I am trash at. Look, we played as Defect last time. I'm gonna play as the Ironclad today. Uh, there's a little bit to talk about. Um, first of all, I mean, talk to this guy. Figure out what the hell we want here. Can we snipe an elite early on? It's looking real unlikely. Um, yeah, that's not going to happen. So, definitely not this guy. Um, taking 24 damage from max HP is not bad. I think I'm just going to do that. Uh, it, it puts us a little bit behind early, but it's not the end of the world. Here's what we're going to do, okay? I uh, First of all, I'm home. Uh, I'm home from school, finally, and, uh, I, I'll be honest, I really don't want to take any damage right now. Um, I'm home from school, which means that I am, uh, fresh and ready to go for, for making content yet again. Something that I have, uh, basically neglected to do for the past week and a half, something or something, something along the lines of that. Um, it's been rough. Finals were um, a pain and made life difficult, as as you probably can tell. We're going to do that, and then we're going to do this, and then this is a fight that really, really sucked, and I'm starting to possibly, just maybe, regret our initial decision to take a lot of damage, because it's going to uh, kind of destroy a plan that I had. I think I'm going to take a twin strike. I think that's totally fine. Um, I don't need the shop right now and I want to I want to hit this rest area right here or do I you know what I don't want to hit that rest area I want to hit this rest area and then I want to hit this rest area and then by that point I probably want to hit this shop and then hit one of these rest areas uh, I, I I've played a little bit of uh, that's pretty good actually I think you upgrade. Twin Strike goes to 7. I think you upgrade Bash instead early on here. I've been playing a little bit of Slay the Spire just in my uh, in my spare time. Dude, Bash already putting in the work. And I have been um, solely... That's pretty good. Uh, we can just kill you. Alright, that works really well. Uh, I've been solely playing... Dude, I actually like all three of these cards. I think you gotta take the armaments, though, as that offers uh, some really good benefit later on. What a really sucky draw right here. It is what it is. Uh, we eat 11 damage. We move on with our day. Um, we have... I have been... Uh, I actually... I really just want to do this. So we kill him on the next turn. I've been playing solely as the Ironclad, um, which has been both good and bad for me. Um, for one, it has made me, it has made me rethink some of my decisions that I make. I like Cleave a lot, um, and I'm gonna be real, I think it's still fine here, uh, and I am gonna take it, but some of the things that I've noticed in, in my gameplay is that I, okay, let's think about this here, eight to all enemies, and then another ten will kill you. I think that's a pretty good start. No, no point in drawing three cards. We still eat eight damage. I, it's going to continue to be awful uh, this entire time. But he should be dead on the next turn unless we get crazy unlucky with cards. Uh, which I cannot play attacks this turn. Alright. Uh, well, upgrade that then to give me a nice eight block. And make sure we can't do anything there. And then, I mean, hey, you're, you're probably still dead. I'm hoping. Let's think about this. Yeah, now nah, you are definitely dead here. Thank you very much. Have a good day. I've been overvaluing elite fights a lot. Um, Barricade is a stupidly good card, so I will take that. I've been overvaluing elite fights. I, I uh, well, we'll risk it. We'll risk it. That's a bad face. Next non-boss chest you open is empty. God, dude, that sucks a lot. Um... I've been overvaluing elite fights, like, a lot 
in the game. Uh, I, I tend to fight a lot of elites on the first floor, and that results in me dying a lot on the first floor. Uh, it's just stupid, really, for me to do that. Let's see, we'll lose eight here. I'm going to be real, just because I think that I can beat this guy, um, possibly, like, on the next turn. Seven twice is 14. That's going to do, like, 10... No, it's going to do 12. So 14 and 12, and then another 9. For some reason, look, it's, it's my holiday break. 14 plus 12 plus 9 is 35. I can't kill you, and that really, really blows. Uh, so we will do that, and then we will do that. And that leaves you with uh, 12 HP. I take a little bit, but you're dead on this turn. I'm crunching numbers. I got a calculator next to me now. Um, I will take another cleave. It's starting to get a little bit dangerous. That so super blows. It's ridiculous. Um, I would like to hit this here. Smith again. The faster we can, uh, the faster we can upgrade cards, the happier we're going to be. And I, I do think this is a time where you question mark purple thingies offer a reward. All right. Uh, well... I mean, I know you, you probably don't want this, <laughs> but I have a strike, and they ignore me. Which, you know what? I still consider that a win, because I really didn't want that strike. So, it works out pretty okay for me. Um, we are just going to go all in on hitting him here, instead of using barricade. Because we're now all in on... Uh, I'm making sure this guy dies, and he will die with relative ease. We're going to go into the boss fight, actually, in, in way better shape than I initially thought. Shrug it off is a fine card. Uh, it's just one of those common cards that is uh, ridiculously good. Another armaments is also intriguing. Um, this is very good. Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. I mean, that's something that we just... We need to build around that if we're going to do that. And I don't think we've been building around that. Whenever you break an enemy's block, apply to vulnerable. That's pretty good as well. I do actually think that our best case scenario is to remove a strike. I think I also... Uh, I'm going to be just brutally honest. I think I have been... Over... Valuing removing cards. I mean, you saw in the last run we had a deck that... I actually think I'm going to go the vulnerable route here. I, that might be a weird move, but uh, I, I know that in the last last video, we won, like, like stupid easy. And I think that there's something we said, so you're going to break at 32. Doing 9 will bring you to 34. This is actually the best case scenario we could have ever had, because now we hit you... Well, we can hit you for uh, 14 and then another 9. Yeah, you, you totally do this here. Bring them down to 11 when they split. That's, like, pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. Upgrade everything. 11 to everyone. Have a nice day. I'm telling you what. I mean, if that's any indication, we have something working here, but... I actually, I, I genuinely don't like any of those cards. We're adding a lot of attacks to this deck currently. Uh, and that is not a good thing. Too vulnerable to all enemies. Man, who's our boss right now? Is that dude. Um, I'm going to be real with you. I think with him, upgrading Shrug It Off is a fine thing to do. A little bit of extra block when he's in the second phase is fine by me. So, let's do this. Um... How do I want to do this? Upgrading all the cards does not really affect anything. So I think you do this. You do this. He's now vulnerable for five turns, which is pretty good. And keep in mind, that vulnerable card is not a... Wow, you are just a real pain in the rear, aren't you, buddy? Um, You got to pop your barricade, I think. Do you just eat the five? I think you do. Honestly. There's no point in just getting rid of his... Uh, Getting rid of his block on that one. We weren't going to do anything else besides just get rid of his block. So, um, cleave for sure. And then, honestly, there's zero reason for us to not just pop block here. 
vulnerable him for sure. Because uh, this block is not going to carry over because of barricade. And that is very, very useful. I'm going to be real with you. I really, really, really do not want to die Um, on 16 to all enemies. That's pretty good. And then 10 twice. He still has fine. I know I shouldn't attack him when he has thorns, but sometimes it is just worth it. Uh, I think this time, though, ramp up the block. He's going to hit for 16, and now he's going to hit for 20. Real pain in the ass, not going to lie, but that's okay. We do a lot of damage, and he's back in that phase. I'll tell you what, this is going fine. Uh, this deck is not the best deck I've ever made, but I'll tell you what, it ain't the worst either. Uh... Just ramp up the block. Having barricade early uh, is obviously the most useful thing we could have done. I think you do that. I mean, let's see here. He's hitting for 16. It's in our best interest. Let's continue to not take any damage whatsoever here. He's hitting for uh, 20. Well, we can actually get to 20, like, real easily and have some left over, so... Hit me, buddy. Go for it. And then buff. Go for it, my man. That's exactly what I want you to do. Uh, block a little bit. Damage. Damage. I'll tell you what. We have this guy's number. I don't think that he can even remotely uh, do anything to us. He'll be dead. Um, very soon. Like, like ridiculously soon. <laughs> have I finally made a deck that works as, uh, as the friggin' Ironclad? I'll tell you what, I think the answer is still no, but if this fight was any indication, I mean, we barely got hit on this crap, and we now have 45 block, and that is, uh, boy, that is feeling real, real damn nice. Uh, 16 to all, look, you know what, we're, we're gonna just do this, doesn't hurt us at all, uh, to, to rock some times where we do this, and then, frankly, we kill him. And we move on with the day. What a crazy good elite fight. Uh, that is about as happy as I can be. Another barricade does not do anything for us. Um, so I will double my strength instead. If we can rock a, a strength run, I think that's intriguing. And I think that removing two cards is totally fine. Uh, and I think that you do that in the way of just removing... I think you do it in the way of removing two strikes, man. I, that, that's a dangerous call. Um, but I think we have enough firepower to do that just fine. Now, second floor elites blow. Like, they're, they're just pain in the ass enemies. I think I'm going to take this path. We're going to get an early shop uh, that we can, you know, mess around in. We're going to come up this way, hit this guy, come up here, have another shop. And then we're going to come right up here. Fight an elite here. I mean, there's literally no path that we can take where we... Well, I suppose we could take this path, but... I think we do have to fight an elite on this floor. We do not have, like, any relics. And I think that that means for us um, trying to get some relics. So... And he's a barricade boy. He's an annoying boy, is what he is. And you know what? We're gonna poison... Ah, you have a friggin' artifact. You son of a gun. Okay, um... He's going to hit for, I believe, 20 on the next turn, if I remember this guy correctly. No, he's hitting for 10. All right. That's fine, honestly. Let's do that. And then... Vulnerable will do nothing to you. I know this is a very strange move, and I should probably start attacking him before he continues to put block on himself, but... I'm going to roll like this for now. I'm going to bash you. At least gets rid of your artifact. You're a pain, buddy. You're a real pain in the ass. And that is... That is okay. Um, You've made me frail. Which can't deny. Real annoying. And now you gain more block. We are not fit to do anything to this man. But the vulnerable is going to help a lot here. We are taking massive amounts of hits, though. Uh... But that's okay. That's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, eight block. Upgrade everything. Cleave. We're so close to finally, like, punching away at his HP. Except he just keeps on doing friggin' the worst attacks. <laughs> what an awful dude for us, man. Get vulnerable. 
Do this. Do this. Do this. We'll roll over six, which is frankly like just a godsend at this point. I, I had a feeling that would do nothing because doubling zero is zero. I, I promise that I have taken math classes in my life. He is dead now, uh, but my lord, what a horrible fight, dude. We lost 36 HP in that. Another cleave I think is fine. Clash is also intriguing um, because we, we actually have a pretty good means of doing that. Well, I suppose we have a lot of skills. I, I think another cleave is fine. Cleave is a dangerous thing. Uh, because there reaches a point where Cleave can only do so much. Um, am I really about to remove another strike from this deck? We're, we're basically replacing all of our strikes with Cleaves. Which, if you're going to do that, that's totally fine. Um, I don't care for that at all. I don't really care for a lot of these. I, I don't think we need another Armaments. We might. We've got one. Um, I, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to remove a... I'm going to remove another strike. And, and we're just going to say goodbye to all the strikes in our deck and, and see how this goes. Duplicate a card. This could be really good. Um, wow, dude. It could be really good. What is it that I want to double, though? Um, I mean, a double shrug it off. I know that that seems like it's a weak weak move here. But it might be the move. A double limit break is also intriguing if we ever get strength. Like... Because if we, we can find a way to ramp up strength. You know, we get ourselves a uh, demon form. Limit break. A double limit break becomes incredible, but... You can't bank on that right now. You know, doubling that card means very little. Doubling vulnerable is fine. Look, I, I think... I think I'm going to double shrug it off. I know that's a really weird move. But shrug it off is a great card. And uh, if we can get that doubled early, I think we just hit these guys. We're going to get eaten for nine here boy man it is painful at the current moment and we haven't even gotten barricade out there um i think you just continue to hit these guys eating a little bit of damage right now is fine we're, we're probably gonna have to rest uh at a spot soon they're both doing this crap you will die you are going to be a pain, because I have a feeling we ain't going to be able to kill you. Uh, let me see, and the answer is no, unless we use... Okay, let's see here, let's see here, let's see here. There's got to be an approach. Shrug it off. Does it defend? Alright, do that. I'm going to throw the poison potion to kill him, so I get my gold back. We get a skill potion as a result of it. Uh, I like Perfected Strike, but it is something that literally is so horrible for our deck because we have no strikes now. <laughs> Anger, I think, is fine, though. A uh, zero attack, uh, zero cost attack is pretty good. This guy's going to make us confused. This is a deck that is not good uh, for being confused. I'll tell you that right now. So, a little bit frustrating, but it is what it is, and he's going to now uh, inflict that nice confuse. Let's do this thing. Let's see how it goes. Um, it, horrible so far. But slowly but surely, we will try to tick away at this man. Once again, a horrible uh, horrible thing, but a zero-cost barricade. Boy, that's, that's beautiful. We at least get to hold on to that forever. You know what? I am going to pop this. Um, double your block. I mean, hey, it's... It's better than nothing. Uh, or we can weaken him. For this turn only. Let's see. So weaken 25% less. So 25 of 15. 
I think we're better off doubling our block at that point. We would lose less HP, so that's fine. You get hit for a little bit, but that's more than okay. How do I want to do this? Bash for the vulnerable and then cleave. And frankly, this fight is going fine. Uh, as long as you don't become a real pain in the rear here sometime soon. I don't know why I would ever upgrade that. Um, I'm going to do a nice shrug here to take no damage. And roll over four, frankly, is also real nice. If you haven't noticed, I, I sound a little bit under the weather. I'm not sure if I actually am or not. It's one of those scenarios where uh, I hate that, but it is what it is. It's one of those scenarios where like, I just woke up. You know, I was like, oh, I start the day with uh, a Slay of Spire since we're going to be doing a lot of videos today. Boy, this sucks. Um, I'm going to drink. Oh, you, you suck a lot, dude. I'm not going to lie. You suck a lot. I think you do this, and then you cry a lot inside. You roll over 10, but you lose his vulnerability. And then this stupid thing is, is even worse. All right. um, right. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. You at least ain't going to hit me for, like, another three turns, give or take. Wow, this is a crazy good uh, round right here. And you are... Very close to dead and will be dead on the next turn. This floor has been very mean to me so far. It has assaulted me in ways that I have not enjoyed. I think Flex is just one of those that you take uh, every time. It's just a great card. And then we're going to rest. Uh, Smith. I know I should probably just rest, but I'm going to Smith. Another Armament I really don't think does all that much for us. We haven't seen that really do a whole hell of a lot. Now, Flex, this is where Limit Break begins to be pretty okay, but it's only temporary. So, I'm not positive that's the move of the current moment. Wow, that doesn't exhaust when we upgrade it. That That's pretty good as well. Um, cleave. I, I feel like we're starting to reach a point where we should just be upgrading Cleave. Uh, get, get that extra damage in there. I do think this is one of those times where you take advantage of the fact that you can pop a... Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to hit you for a little bit. This is one of those times where you pop barricade early just so that you can uh, hopefully begin to stack up some block. This is a run that is solely dependent on barricade right now. Uh, in just being able to, this is an intriguing one. I'm not going to lie. So we are not getting hit here. So we got two. How do I want to do this? Um, I know exactly how I want to do this. I want to pop this. Then I want to pop this. Then I want to pop this. And then I want to pop this. So you each get hit. Uh, and then I still carry over five block on this next one. They're hitting for friggin' 43. 42 and I only have dazes. That's honestly just horrible. Uh, will this actually do 20 damage to this man? Yeah I'm gonna be real. I think taking 17 here is is totally fine overtaking 42 What a absolutely sucky uh, situation there though But this guy will be dead. I mean sooner or later you friggin weakened me why are you the way you are, my little man? Okay. It's a real annoying boy right here. I... We're not going to talk about that one. Um, What a horrible play by me. This is, this is a good time. Crank up the block. I know I'm just adding like a ton of dazes into my deck. But it's okay. We now got 45 block. I know how many dazes are in there. We're probably going to get only day. Yeah, okay. Only dazes. That's okay, actually. That's okay. Vulnerable. Another daze. Flex. Hit him. He's saying for 27, we're still going to take four here. There's some enemies, man. We're just not built for it. 
This is gonna add a crap load of dazes, but I have to block it, dude. I gotta at least try, and he is dead. Okay. Boy, sucky fight. Continue to be sucky fight. I think that Iron Wave is a fine choice. We likely cannot buy anything. Um, damn, dude. I needed you. I needed that guy right there. Body Slam is very good with Barricade. So I'm going to roll with that. Uh, and now we are going to go Elite Route. And I, I, I do think this is a horrible, horrible idea. Especially now. I think that I did just end our run. Um, mainly by not thinking. I'm going to be real with you. I think this is one of those scenarios where I, I did not think at all. Especially right there as well. Did not think at all. And thus our run is going to end because of this. Because we are not going to have the HP coming out of this fight to fight an elite. And we're going to have to get real lucky, basically. Alright, uh, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. And then we're going to hit you for 22. I'll tell you what, that, that's like a real damn good move. Body Slam is going to be so useful for us. He's got 24 on him. If I had Barricade, I would have absolutely uh, popped stuff there. This is a real sucky turn. It's a real sucky turn. He might be dead, though. He's he's definitely not going to be dead. And we are about to get, like, massively hit. Boy, that hurts a whole hell of a lot. Okay. This is another just absolutely terrible turn. I mean, man, how do you combat this? I thought our run w was so good, and now we're uh, we're sitting with nine HP on our, I in route to a uh, elite fight. So, how does that make you feel, boy, dude? It's an upgraded shockwave. We already don't have enough energy to play everything. I think you just skip. And you got to go question mark. Hopefully. I, it, uh, you got to upgrade your defense and hope for the best here. We're super dead. I mean, and there's no doubt about it. He will probably kill us right here. 12. We can get to 12 easy. Um, I know this is a, this is a power move. I'm going to take one damage in order to get Barricade out there early. He's hitting for 18. We're dead. I believe we are dead. We're not dead. I played these in the wrong order again. I, look, I do think that we had some unfortunate scenarios. That did result in why we died. And I think that they, they were independent. Yeah, we, we're dead here now. Uh, I think they were independent of my own play, but uh, I also think that, uh, come on, you did it. <laughs> what a time to be alive. New stuff. Cool. Whatever. God, dude, I think that we played bad, but I also think that we, uh, we got some just real cramp luck. That's gonna do it. Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy, as always, like on the video helps. I'll see you soon when I play some more Slay the Spire and die. We'll, we'll play as, I don't know, I may go Ironclad again. I'm trying to get better at this guy. I, I don't know why I can't wrap my head around uh, how to play as the Ironclad, so we'll figure it out, but thanks again. Have a good one. Bye-bye.